very important to consider preparing a disaster preparedness kit for a person and his family to meet their basic health and first aid needs, to also keep them shelter and warm against any disasters, to create signal for rescuers, and especially to survive. Here are some things to be put in your disaster preparedness kit that you could easily find at your home. First of all, you need bottle or bottles of water and non-perishable goods like canned goods and instant noodles so you can have something to eat and drink during survival times. One study in Archive for Criminology concluded that a person can't survive for more than 8 to 21 days without food and water. Although water is more essential than food, 3 to 5 days of dehydration causes our organs to begin shutting down. Cell phone, power bank and charger. Cell phone for communication power bank and charger to maintain the phone's battery life and if you have you could include an extra battery for your phone we don't have a battery powered or hand crack radio here but we have a flashlight do not forget to also include its extra batteries but for practicality and conveniency i've found this two-in-one rechargeable flashlight and radio i've discovered that it's on lazada already which is shown on the screen right now we also need to have a first aid kit to give a first-hand treatment to sickness, injuries, or wounds. We have gauze and betadine for wounds. For the plaster, we can use sanitary pads or napkins as an alternative. We have medicines like paracetamol and pain reliever. We also have Vicks and Achete de Manzanilla. We also have a whistle to create a loud sound as a signal of distress for people nearby. We also need face mask to cover our nose and mouth from particles and bacteria on the air, especially in these times of pandemic. We could also include face shield as well, plastic sheets, and tape. It is recommended to include a duct tape, but I substituted it with packaging tape. We have no wipes, but we have tissues. We also have garbage bags for all of the wastes. There are also tools like scissors, pliers, and an all-in-one opener. It is also very necessary to include important documents and IDs as well, but it is better if we put it inside a plastic Ziploc bag or a sealable waterproof plastic like the one flashed on the screen right now. Do not also forget to bring money, whether it is bills or coins. A blanket to keep you warm during cold weathers. Additional clothing. Match and lighter. Personal hygiene items like soap, shampoo, toothbrush and toothpaste, and hand sanitizer or alcohol. Mess kits or disposable utensils. We should also never forget to include our devotion and faith at all times. Lastly, the most important of all, if you have a big bag on your home just like this one, of course, you have to use it to put all these things together as much as possible. Make sure that it is waterproof. You wouldn't want your things to be put into waste just because the bag easily gets wet inside. I just want to send my regards to you and your family. May you all be healthy and safe at all times, especially in this time of pandemic. As I conclude this with the reminders, be ready, be resourceful, and be accountable at all times. This is Marcella Muarca. Thank you and God bless.